Marcus Horizon would like to become the best landlords by 2016. We want to be number one. The best housing association in the whole country. But also they want to be able to change the perception of what social housing is about and the influence it can have. To find out how Amicus Horizon is already leading by example in the sector and beyond, we caught up with Steve Douglas and Peter Cruttenden from the board as they reflected on another successful year of results. First up for discussion was the role that resident governance has played in this success. What's really nice about it is that we've stuck to our guns on it. Mm -hmm. It's not a fad. Uh, when it was very fashionable to have resident governance, we'd already started to get engaged in it. We made a promise four years ago about making the local voice really important, even though we were getting bigger as an organisation. And we really delivered that, I believe, and actually put ourselves in a position where there is true resident influence in terms of how we operate. We're still absolutely committed to it, and you can see the difference. The, the results over the last four years have really put us in a major position as an example in the sector. We've seen the key performance indicators dramatically improve. And today the level of resident satisfaction is above 95%, and it's absolutely breathtaking to actually see that level of improvement. Apart from the performance indicators, which are the thing that matter to the residents, we've seen the external recognitions as well. We talk about the one team approach, and I think that's absolutely the case in terms of the improvements that we've seen. Our resident governance, our strategic board, our staff team all working together has made that big difference. Governance structure, it's, it's made for us residents, for everyone, at every level from the area panels and different regions. And we go into the resident council, things go up to the board. It's a golden thread. It links everybody together because it works both ways because it comes back down the line to the area panel and then it goes out to the residents. So everybody's involved, everybody knows what's going on. And we're all working on that goal, for that goal together. They've got this, you know, overarching thing of the one team approach which at the end of the day, you know, serves to help everyone, you know, residents, the staff, you know, and um, the wider community. It's a two-way thing. Staff realise from us what we need. We realise how staff work hard to achieve that for us. Talking to people from other housing associations, they're quite gobsmacked on what Amicus Horizon actually do. And you have to say it over and over again. They go, no, and you go, yes, this is actually what we do. When we go out, we go out together. Um, Amicus Horizon, as well as residents, we meet the community um, as um, one team. And a lot of the residents are quite surprised when we do the door knocking or we greet them and actually say no we're residents so we know um, what you're going through but we want to hear it from you. Residents are at the heart of decision making and from this we have achieved many awards. Amicus Horizon recognises that each and every resident can influence their local areas and help to build stronger communities. They're blazing a trail changing the way the public sees social housing tenants. Their contributions have been recognised with several prestigious awards. Residents themselves are the best advocates for the success of Amicus Horizon. And nowhere is this more true than with the young people who sit on the youth forums. I think it's very important for the young people to help with Amicus Horizon because it, it stops perception of making us feel that we destroy our community. Everyone thinks that young children ain't capable of doing stuff for their community. They think they're out on the streets doing like, bad things and stuff. But really, they're actually not. They're, they're like, actually helping their community. Like me and Demi, like the, young, the young tenants around our areas, um, that Amicus Horizon house, we we, we're the ones that run the project, so it just shows our younger generation, so our little brothers and sisters, that they can help stop everyone thinking that kids are ruining the area. The work of Amicus Horizon's young residents has been recognised by the Tenant Participation Advisory Service, 
who presented them for three consecutive years with the National Young Tenant of the Year Award. I think this shows that they really want to work with residents of all ages and backgrounds. Sometimes you feel very happy about certain things you do because that you find that it's helping your community and with people that live around you. I get a real buzz off it because I can walk through my community now and I have the little the, the little, the younger generation just coming up to me and saying, am I going to run this club next? Am I going to run that club? And they're just throwing ideas at me and they, you can see they really, really enjoy it. So knowing that I'm part of that is something that I would want to do in the future as well as keep doing it in the present. One of the aims of Amicus Horizon is to change perception of social housing residents and our young people certainly have done that. There are many ways that residents can influence how social housing is perceived. They have to say, I live in social housing and I'm also part of Amicus Horizon. I am part of that community and I can influence what happens.